what's up? OCD Mikey, Hi-Fi Guy here, and I'm about to show you the baddest ass power cord you've ever seen for AC power in Hi-Fi audio. And um, I'll tell you a little bit about myself is that when I see that there's something that isn't being done in the industry, if nobody's making it, then I have to make it. Many times I just can't find exactly what I want and so I have to make it or I have to improve on it or I have to do something to create a solution and this is one of those products. So come along with me now and let me show you what I'm talking Here, about. I've got the Veristar Grand Illusion Signature Series and this is actually the top of the Signature Series called the Statement. So it's a Grand Illusion Signature Statement. Uh, reference audio cables, of course, they're made in the USA. These are made by my hands, okay? Um, so you actually get to see Mikey's craft now. I'm going to show you something that I have made. These are my trademarks. Um, audio foil is all the cables that I make are made out of foil, so they're audio foil, and that is the trademark name. And Grand Illusion is also the the line of cables are the Grand Illusion, and the Grand Illusions are made using audio foils. So those are pretty cool. Um, let me show you exactly what I've got here. So we will open this up. First of all, you can see there's a certificate of authenticity. I have, I have a serialized decal right here that is a hologram decal. There are three of them, two on the product and one on this certificate. So all three should match in the product. These will reference back. You can contact us at any time, reference back the serial number. We will know exactly who's bought it, who's selling it, and uh, so that there's no risk of getting a, a, a counterfeit um, and uh, be a hell of a, a hell of a cable to counterfeit anyways. You'd have to really, really come up with something. So we go in here and uh, here she is. This is a power cord. This is a four foot power cord. This is made, as you can see, it's foil, okay? This is made with a solid foil of pure 99.997% silver. Very hard to come by. Very hard to get in this form. Very hard to even buy silver nowadays. Um, and this is this is so much more silver than anybody uses in their power cords or in their cables. It's not even funny. This is actually a gross amount of silver. If you look at the weight and the and the amount of silver, there's three of these, and each is uh, three inches wide. That is a heck of a lot of pure silver. You could sell these in time. You could take them. You could break them open and use the silver in times of, of strife um, to uh, you could use them as uh, as as currency. Um, anyways, here you can see a little bit better. It's a grand illusion statement. These are nice, beautiful ends. I use Firatec ends on them. Gorgeous finish. And what these have over that that round wire doesn't have is an exponential greater surface area. I mean, it is like a thousand times more than the surface area of a regular wire. Um, you know, it, it's just, and that changes this, that, that gives you a different sound. I'm not even gonna get into the scientific part about it because I don't care, quite honestly. Um, I build things based on how they sound and how they perform, and then I test them in the marketplace with beta testers, and they try it, and if I don't get 100% just totally positive response, then I don't make it. This cable blows people's minds. This is a four foot cord, it's 3,500 bucks. Some lucky owner in California is gonna get the four of these that he just ordered, and they are on the way to him shortly. I do not sit at the bench and make these anymore. You may be able to convince me to make something for you uh, if you have an order that includes three to four pieces. Yes, I'll probably go ahead and sit down, but normally I don't sit at the bench anymore. This is a legacy design. Um, I still have enough materials to make maybe a dozen of these things, and then that's it. I'm not, in, I'm not I can't sit at the bench anymore and do this kind of thing. Um, so there will be some of these that I make that uh, will be offered to the Hi-Fi tribe for a very low price. Uh, we're talking about like 750 bucks for, uh, for, a, for a cable. Um, and those will come up only to Hi-Fi tribe members. Um, this is something that is the very, very top of the line. I, and, and, and you'd have to really consult with me and convince me to make you some 
because I just don't make them anymore. It's a lot, a lot of work and it's painstaking work. Um, these have been burned in for five days on a cable cooker, an Audio Dharma cable cooker. So they're all ready for, uh, for duty. And um, I know you've never seen a power cord like this. You've never seen <laughs> a power cord like this. This is a Mikey creation, okay? And uh, I've got more to come with you guys with new products. So you just stay tuned because I'm going to bring you more of this high-end beautiful stuff for your hi-fi rig. And I'm not going to forget the people that don't have the means to buy exclusive, bespoke, handmade stuff. There's other, that, believe me, the things that I bring you guys, if I, if I bring them for $500 or $1,000, they're going to be something that is worth triple its cost, okay? Because that's, I, I'm fed up with this industry and what it does, and I'm setting out to prove to you guys Kick-ass exotic things can be made for you and you don't have to pay 20, 30, 150 ridiculous thousand dollars, three hundred thousand dollars. I want to kick them right in the balls, you know, like like how stupid do you think I am? OK, maybe they're great. Best thing I've ever heard. Whatever. Um, I don't think they're the best thing I've ever heard, but I stand against gougery. There's nothing worth. There's no speaker worth half a million dollars worth that. Look, I know it's worth whatever people are willing to pay, but I think there's a point when manufacturers take advantage of people that like to, that have the means and that like to show off the jewelry and all the stuff. You get taken advantage of. If you're okay with getting taken advantage of, fine. I'm not that guy. Nonetheless, this thing's only $3,500. This could easily be a $12,000 power cord. Um, so just wanted to let you guys know that. And uh, have a great day. See you. I'm going to bring you to the little shop of horrors. We've got uh, Hendrix up there overseeing my whole uh, operation because Jimmy's my man. Uh, and, you know, we just look around. We can look around this stuff. And I've got crap everywhere. Um, anybody remember Audio Arrow Capitol, the CD player? This was the bomb back in the day, man. I mean... Everybody had one at the shows, and this was the top-level uh, CD player that there was. Many people can attest to that. Uh, look, there's a KR Audio amp right there, dual 845. Do I can't remember what they use. Some weird-ass tube and that thing. <sighs> I need to clean it off. It's a little dirty. She's been sitting there a while. Um, what do we got? I mean, we can, look, vacuum tube, uh, headphone amp. Anybody want a headphone amp? Made with vacuum tubes. That is a very uh, that's a famous design. I can't remember what it's called, but I could find out. I mean, look, I've got those are um, those are two monoblocks, dual eight forty five single ended triodes in in parallel. Um, pretty kick ass uh, monoblocks there, just sitting there gathering dust, dude. Those are most people's wet dream right there. Here's a pair of Vera Star monoblock amps. Like so, you you guys don't even know. Of my Vera Star brand, maybe you do, but I mean eight KT one uh, KT eighty eights, KT one twenties, whichever eight per chassis, three hundred watts of pure tube crushing pentoed power. Um, I got two pairs of those sitting around. I mean these things. Geez, what else? I mean here's the silver. If you guys want to see, I got stacks of my silver. You can see right here. This is pure silver. Um, you know, foil. This is solid, man. There's no, it's not, it's not some silver plated ass copper like Nordost and little teeny gossamer thin hairs wound uh, in a line, you know, to make a, a, a flat cable. This is a solid piece of high purity silver. Um, yeah. Does any, anybody use that? No, no, nobody uses that. Nobody, no other company uses that kind of stuff. So anyways, just wanted to show you, I know it's a mess. There's my kick-ass soldering station. Um, and, uh, yeah, so thanks for joining. See you.